Hello my precious changelings, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to make a follow-up video to the one that I made last week about the difficulty in Gunfire Reborn. I got a lot of feedback from people and I wanted to answer some questions and make some comments about some of the things I received. Of course there are a bunch of people that agreed with me, uh, as much as I appreciate that, not the point of the video, but thank you for vindicating me. <laughs> Before we get too deep into this, I want to talk about a bigger problem with the game. I was only aware of the problems that I have interfaced with, and that's because I use the PC version, the Steam version of the game. Mwah. And uh, I wasn't aware that console players and mobile players were dealing with some major problems with the game. I don't have personal experience with it, but from what I've seen, the console version is super buggy and broken and it's been like that for months and they haven't fixed it. So I will say uh, there's definitely more problems with the game than I originally thought. And I, I hope that they fix those soon because that is unforgivable. There's an issue where one of the bosses can become invincible and there's apparently chests that haven't been translated yet into the right languages so people don't know what they're selecting from it. Just kind of a mess. So, you know, keep in mind that while I'm complaining about this problem still and we're going to be talking about it, it's definitely not the biggest problem for the game, at least across all platforms. All right, here's a sentiment that I've seen a lot in several of the responses I have. Everything below reincarnation three or four is pretty easy with a bird leap build though. Not just this, uh, people will say, you know, just choose this character and do this strategy and it'll be fine. I think this completely misses the point I was trying to make. The problem is the pacing, not the possibility. Saying that it is possible to beat something says nothing about what the pacing was to get you there. So yeah, you could probably tear open the game with a bunch of seams. There's a lot of strategies you can employ to make the game easier or to have a winning blow. The point isn't that it can be done, it's that it is more difficult than it needs to be because it's only been designed like that as kind of a mistake. It's just a leftover from how it used to be. When talking about the difficulty of things, there was something here that I forgot to mention. I went solo through normal and elite easy peasy, then tried nightmare and lost pretty bad. There's definitely a steep curve. Tree may not be optimal. I can't find a way to refund either, so it seems like I'm stuck with the poor decisions I made while learning the game. Yes, whenever you're a new player, and you're trying to learn the fundamentals of the game, there are things on the talent tree that I would say are pretty low priority compared to some of the other ones. And once you've already invested in one side, it's not like you can just go, oh, I now realize that these things don't matter as much and so I want to respec. You can't do it. You just have to now grind to get those other things and get it up. My honest opinion is that if you're having difficulty with Nightmare, head back down to normal or elite and grind slash learn about the game more. Once you understand how most stuff works in Nightmare, it becomes easier to play through. I also don't think they should smooth out the difficulty curve because the first few reincarnation levels introduce new things, which makes it easier than Nightmare. It would be insanely toned down that you would question if it should even be called Nightmare. I don't think that's a problem. Now this is a kind of comment that I think is a little tone deaf for new players because it makes it seem like everything that you do to progress in the game is entirely hinged upon your own skill and while definitely player ability plays a huge impact on the outcome of your runs i think the meta progression of the game also has a huge hand to play in it uh, if you look at some of the things on the lower end of the talent tree they are absolutely amazing and they'll not either like set you up to win your run really well or stop you from getting hard destroyed by a, a handful of things. There's a lot of things in the talent tree, as well as the unlockable scrolls and the unlockable weapons that are just better than some of the standard ones that I think people are forgetting about if they haven't made a new account in a long time. Not only that, but I don't see a problem with having a smooth difficulty curve. If we need to pump up the lower levels of reincarnation to make it seem more like a progression, fine that's cool that that means that things are moving upwards instead of having a rise a fucking cliff face and then a deep valley before it starts going up again none of that makes sense to me all right check out this one yes it is super hard to complete nightmare without at least unlocking half of the talent tree however it's not super hard to unlock talents 
and it's one time only. I've done it on three different saves. The game is much easier on multiplayer. You can finish Nightmare and get a lot of currency to unlock the talent tree. This is somewhat true. Yes, once you unlock things on the talent tree, they're permanently unlocked. It's not like it's going to take it away from you. The problem is, again, pacing. If you had to get around, let's say, 20 to 30 levels in order to beat normal mode, and then 20 to 30 levels to beat elite mode, then you would probably expect to need to get 20 to 30 more levels to beat nightmare mode. But what I'm seeing between my friends and posts on the subreddit is that people are spending only a couple levels to beat normal, only a couple levels to beat elite, and then they have to nearly max out their talent tree before they beat nightmare mode and they go on to reincarnation. That is a huge time investment going from getting a handful of levels per difficulty increase on the first two to nearly having to finish out the entire tree to beat nightmare mode. Again, it's about pacing. Players feel like, okay, I now understand the pattern of how much progression I need in order to make it into the next difficulty. If you have an idea of what it's like and then that gets crushed, then you're going to think the problem's with you and that you're doing something wrong. When really, the game just wants you to have your talent tree filled out. It wants you to have things like the one-shot protection, the selling of weapons and scrolls you aren't using, the extra etching on the craftsman. All of the really powerful stuff at the bottom of the tree is what it wants you to have to beat nightmare mode. And I think that you need to tone down nightmare mode so you don't have to go from being at one quarter of the talent tree to get a victory in elite to nearly maxed out to get one in nightmare mode. I think there needs to be some extra smoothing out so that players don't feel like they just hit a brick wall. It comes out of nowhere and it doesn't show up again for the rest of the game. No other increase in difficulty is quite like the jump from Elite to Nightmare. So that's that's the issue. That's what needs to be fixed, is how much of a jump it is from Elite to Nightmare. And additionally, you're right, multiplayer is easier. There's a bunch of reasons for it. Just being able to pick someone up at all is pretty useful because normally, if you're in solo, you get downed once, you have to use Soul Lessons to res, and then that's it. Unless you get a scroll that gives you some kind of res ability, you're, you're done. You only get one fall before you're out. But in multiplayer, it's possible to end up in situations where you can res each other back and forth, even without the extra talent. Another reason why multiplayer is easier is just the fact that you can share scrolls with one another and weapons. Whenever you're playing solo, if you find something that doesn't quite jive with the run that you're doing, or it like directly impedes it, then you're pretty much out. Maybe if you have the recycling, you can get a little bit of money from it, but otherwise you lose the opportunity for a power spike. But in multiplayer, you have better opportunities to make sure that each person gets the best things that they can. Maybe you aren't using lightning, and so you find lightning shard, and you're like, eh, I can't use this. Well, in multiplayer, you can at least give it to a friend who may also be using lightning, and now you've gotten a bit of a benefit out of it, whereas you wouldn't have before. So yes, multiplayer can make the game easier, but this kind of harkens back to one of the earlier comments where it's like, there are ways to beat it, therefore it's fine. And I disagree with that. Just because you can have a workaround to a problem doesn't mean the problem doesn't exist. You should still fix the problem, even if people can like meander and finesse their way around it. I did have a couple comments like these. I also don't think that Nightmare is too difficult in that you gotta eventually learn how to aim, where to aim, how to run, and dodge the enemies and their various attack patterns anyways. Nightmare being difficult just compels players to learn this rather than brute forcing your way through. If you rely just on brute force, you'll come right back to the slippery slope. Don't agree with that whatsoever. First of all, Nightmare Mode does not tutorialize anything. In fact, most of Gunfire doesn't teach you how to actually be good at Gunfire. Yeah, the tutorial might literally tell you how to activate abilities and what keys do what, but it doesn't explain synergies and it doesn't explain like some of the mechanics between the elemental effects and crits and lucky shot. It doesn't really explain those things. That's stuff you kind of have to go out, check the wiki for, learn about it on your own because the game's not gonna teach you about it. So no, I don't think it's actually teaching you anything. If there was something that the game could do to teach people or to prepare them for the specific challenges imposed in Nightmare Mode, you might have a point there. But until then, I think it's just a difficulty spike and you're 
throwing the ingredients down on them and expecting them to put out some high quality cuisine. And most people that don't already have roguelike or first person shooter experience are gonna super struggle with putting that meal together. Secondly, the problem with this is again, players are still gonna brute force it. Not because they need to learn something and they're refusing to learn it. It's because they are already being taught by the game that if you're having a problem, you just need to dump more soul lessons into it. Oh, you're, you're failing in the first act? It's not that you're doing something wrong. You just need more soul lessons in your talent tree. And a player who is beating their head against that wall is probably going to do significantly better when you start getting the talent that keeps you from getting one shot, the talent that keeps you from taking extra damage when it burns through your shield. You know, players are going to pick up on the fact that the further down the talent tree you go, the better you're going to be. So if they're having a problem and they don't recognize it with their own ability, then they're going to default to, well, I just need to have more soul lessons. Or since it's a game about RNG, uh, as with almost any roguelike, they might just throw it up to, eh, I didn't have a good run. I didn't get the ascensions I wanted. I didn't get the weapon I wanted. I just need to grind until I get that RNG victory that I'm looking for. And you're not actually teaching them how to get better at the game. This is probably the most frustrating comment I got yet. I didn't watch the video, but I'm still going to give you my opinion. Well, fuck off. <laughs> no. And this right here was probably the dumbest argument I had to deal with in the entire comment section. Let's read it. In Path of Exile, 80% of the players don't get past Act 5. So what? Nightmare is not too much of a jump at all. Pick Fox or Cat and it's a free win. This is like saying, oh, in Elden Ring, most players don't beat Masselia. Despite the fact that the game has easy mode mechanics, any player of any skill level can abuse to make the game easier. Once again, we're falling back on the old, oh, just because it can be beat means it's not a problem, and just because there's workaround means that there's not a problem. I, I wholly disagree with that, as I've already stated. But we're also now comparing Gunfire to a game, Path of Exile, a game I love. I've played it a lot. I have hundreds of hours, multiple characters, multiple leagues. I love that game. So don't get me wrong when I say this, but the game has obvious problems. It is so bloated and so convoluted with all of its random mechanics and drop rates and whatnot that the game is constantly in a state of brokenness. It's either way too easy or way too hard and they never seem to get it just right. But not only that, you're saying 80% of players don't get past the halfway point of the story, which means the grand majority of your player base isn't even getting to get to the meat and bones of what your, your end game is. That's a problem. And you're also talking about a game that has so many problems that third party applications are used by almost everyone just to make sure they build their character right. And you think that's okay? That just shows that you're like some kind of elitist gatekeeping person that just enjoys things because other people can't get into it. You're basically telling me I should invalidate your opinion because you don't care about good design. Secondly, saying that players can't beat a certain boss in Elden Ring needs to make it easier is not a good comparison to Gunfire either. With Elden Ring, you're talking about an experience where players can go out into an explorable world and they can do content at the pace that they want. In Gunfire, barring somebody like grabbing you and dragging you through the difficulties without you actually having to improve yourself at all, you're talking about new game plusing. Once you beat Elite Mode, you've now seen every enemy, every boss, and you're only unlocking some new weapons and scrolls and stuff you're not experiencing something new and there's nothing about making nightmare mode easier that would ruin the experience later on doing nightmare mode easy doesn't make reincarnation 8 easier having more players get from elite to reincarnation doesn't ruin the community there's nobody that has to like go oh nightmare mode's easier so now you don't have to fight the boat well, no, you're still going to have to fight the boat. You're going to run into everything that you've bumped into so far in the game, just on the harder difficulties. 
saying that there was a boss in Dark Souls that was hard and so people wanted it to be easier has no comparison to gunfire when every step along the way you're going to be encountering every single one of the elites and the, the different bosses and stuff. I just... Gah! Anyway, so those are my thoughts, those are my feelings on how I feel like Nightmare Mode needs to be changed. I think I gave a fair shake to everyone that had a disagreement with me, but when almost all the comments boil down to, it's possible to beat it, therefore it's not a problem, and there's only so many ways that you can say the same thing over and over again. But if you have anything else that you want to add to it, please tell me in the comments down below. If you're somebody that's having problems beating Nightmare Mode and you need some help, uh, I would say to go check out the Gunfire Discord. You should be able to find a party there that can help carry you through it. If you come to any of my Gunfire streams, then I would be more than happy to help people get through Nightmare Mode so that you can get over into Reincarnation Mode and enjoy the fun that we have in that. And until next time, folks, please remember to take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Bye-bye.